Hello guys and welcome back to another Disney Battle Mode Heroes video. This one is a user request and I'm going to be describing and explaining my favourite heroes from each of the class types. Before I get this video started I'd like to thank everybody who watched my new series called Twins Play. It means a lot to me. Go and check it out. We'll be uploading a Fortnite one tonight. Right. So, my favourite heroes in each of the classes. So, straight away, for, I'd say, Nick is an attack class. He's not really a support. So, I'd straight away have Nick for DPS. Because, obviously... I don't know if you can actually find a place where it says what they do. No. So, Nick is a DPS character because he's far from a tank and he doesn't have any healing. So, I'd fully recommend having Nick on, every, on your team no matter what. Because when he uses Lemming Rush and he stacks it, especially for City Watch, he just stacks all the moves up. And then every time he throws it, five run in, five run in, five, 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 five. So it all stacks up and he just does so much damage. Like, it's crazy not to use him. And then his sh um, shuriken pops, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken pops, um, he pulls out three lollies and throws them. Each one does like 8,000 damage. And if there's one enemy left, all three hit the same enemy. Then obviously charming is vital. And if you've got his disc upgraded because I've got mine to three stars so charm lasts 18% longer which is absolutely vital because it just allows you to keep the characters on your side so you've got an extra person on your team and then his final one just increases his um, skill power so he's overall my favourite DPS character, he's a must in your team for every single mode and I fully recommend him and I'm going to have to do a two in, I know you wanted my favourite character, but I'm going to have to do two. Because Nick and Zerg are both incredible DPS characters. Zerg, the problem with Zerg is, is his health. And this is why I'd say I'd use somebody else over him. Um, this is why sometimes I put Violet over him, because his health is so low. He's only got 18,000 health. Oh, there you go. Roll damage. Sorry, it does say it. Let's go to Nick. Roll damage, yeah. So, damage. Damage. So, having Zerg is vital in your team as well. But having Nick and Zerg sometimes doesn't pay off. Because Violet is good to have with Zerg. So, you can shield Zerg because he's so squishy. But Nick's pretty good on his own because he's got a decent amount of health on him. But it's all because of this move. This is why I recommend having Zerg in your team over every single character because this move is just mental. Everything it does is brilliant. It just shoots out constant bullets and they all do, and it, they just shoot endlessly and they all do so much damage and it just keeps shooting through. So it's, it's, worth, it's worth having him. And all his other moves, he's got Energy Leech. Yeah, so he's got an energy leech. Hang on, I just put my do not disturb on. There we go. Yeah, so he's got energy leech, which is vital. And um, and that's just his first move. It's not really that great. It's all right. And then when you, so I do recommend having those are both my favourite damage characters. And my favourite tank characters are Miss Incredible by far, because all his moves are so ridiculous. His, he slams, hits all the enemies moving them back, and if you use Grand Slam when Nick uses his Lemming Rush, you can knock him back into the Lemming Rush and double the damage. Poundquake stomps the ground, hits everyone around him. Super Duper, this is incredible, when he, he does 400% more attack speed. And that's just more health, so that's important to upgrade. But I feel like because that's there, he's not as good as other tanks on health because they have to balance it out, which is a bit annoying. 
But Mr. Incredible is all around my favourite tank. But I'm also going to have to put two in here. And say so Sully comes in quite high on that as well. Because he's also incredible, Sully. With, like all his moves. So Sully would be the next best tank. I'd say close first, but he is my second tank. And um, I can actually P3 Sully, which I'm going to do after Nick. But yeah, his skills, because when he screams, he attacks through all enemies and it scares them. And that increases the scream power. And his toy tantrum is ridiculous because he throws um, two toys out. Three toys out, just like Nick's move. And it just destroys each... It can literally do 12,000 damage a hit on each enemy. And then you've also got a healing laugh which heals him, which is incredible. If Mr. Incredible had a move like that to heal him, he'd be unstoppable. And then my favourite support... I've only got one support character, and that's Violet. The shield, it doesn't... All the rest of her moves aren't really that great. Where is it? So that one there is ridiculous because it shields the entire team. And I do need to get that skill up to 70 really. And I probably will push that up a little bit because she's one of my main characters. But it is so powerful to secure squad. So you can just ignore other moves really. But the secure squad just can literally help you from being your team totally being wiped to stay alive and proceeding further. So, Violet is my favourite support character, and I'd recommend you always having her in your team. Um, so, I've said my damage characters. Woody is also a good support character. I will just quickly drop another one in, I, because of that move where he speeds people up. I haven't levelled Woody up a lot, but that move there is ridiculous. So, everybody on the team has 100% attack speed. And... That is good, but I wouldn't ever recommend using him instead of Violet. That's the issue I have. Lasso is good as well because it pulls, it can pull Yaks forward and kill him before everybody else. But there's not a support character who I'd say who I recommend using over, you know, over Violet. Control is decent, but I don't really use control. I don't have any use for control. Control's like pushing all the enemies back, making sure they don't come forward too much. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. This was a user request. I was just getting out my favourite damages, which is Nick and Zerg. My favourite tanks, which is Mr. Incredible and Sully. Oh, actually, that's completely forgot to cover Yaks. My favourite support, which is Violet. Yaks, I put in his own category. So I say he's a healer. Because support-wise, he doesn't really do a lot. It's just his healing. He's, and also, he's got that move where he shoots the, the poisonous gas down and it does loads of damage. But yeah, I definitely say... Yax... I don't even include him on the list. You'd be stupid to not have Yax on your team. That's that, really. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe.